just so y'all know this is not a tutorial yeah don't take nothing i say in this video seriously all the techniques that you say i'm doing i just got them from other youtubers basically the whole lace front wig side of youtube i can't give y'all specifics don't follow this video trying to install your wig just because mine turned out the way that you wanted it or any of that because i'm i'm not taking no responsibility for how your wig turns out okay that's all i want to say hey y'all welcome back to my youtube channel and today we got a little something different i usually don't make voiceover videos at all i love talking about stuff that i'm doing as i'm doing it but we still gonna do it anyways y'all let me know if y'all like it but to all my new people out there yes y'all make lifestyle content this isn't usually what i make but we're trying new things we're being different today's video is in a collaboration with yolova hair this is a 22 inch body wave 13 by 4 i'm gonna show y'all the customization of everything i bleached and all and plucked it and this is what it looks like i might pluck it a little bit more this hair overall is really good the only negative thing that i have to say about it is that it had a little bit of a smell but that came out you know like when i was washing it so it's still a very bomb quality hair it's really good for beginners very sturdy it wasn't hard to pluck it none of that i'm gonna roll the clips of me bleaching the knots and doing all that now okay so this is everything that came inside the box as y'all can see the box is literally like it's so pretty but it came with some lashes which i'm obviously not, that's those are not my type of lashes came with tweezers um we didn't show this but didn't come with a wig cap and as y'all can see it's pre-plugged and this is what you get in a 13 by 6. Okay, to bleach the knots, I'm using some powder bleach and Fluffy Volume Developer in this mixing bowl, you know, which you use to dye hair and stuff. I put most of it in there and just left a little bit in case if I made it too watery. I just slowly added it in and I made it too watery at first. You can't really see it here. So I added more powder, went back and forth, you know, just made sure it's good enough. Okay, after I'm done, I'm just going to hawk home the little hairs in the back just so that they don't get caught up in the bleach and then this foam head is actually too small but i use it anyway because all i had as you can see it's too thick and that made me kind of have to push it in so it took me forever because i was trying to have a light hand but also trying to get it on there but yeah this is what it looks like i rinsed it out with purple shampoo right now i'm just drying it as y'all can see my mom is helping me so thank you to mom i didn't have anything to put it on for it to be stable but you know it dried pretty fast anyways. And this is what it looks like. Okay, on the plucking, I already know what my hair looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the knots actually weren't as bleached as I wanted them to be. And I just realized that. So I went ahead and re-bleached the knots. Learned my lesson this time on how thick to make it. And I like adjusted it so it worked better for me. I took out the first section of the hair, which was the pre pluck part and I was plucking behind the hairline. Yeah, I don't remember where I got this from. But yeah, just combing the hair through, getting all the plucked hair out as you go so you can really see what you're doing. And I was keeping it wet. I didn't realize that this would be a problem, but getting both the sides even was kind of difficult. But I just went ahead and plucked any big knots that I seen in the front and transferred it to my leg because I just felt it was just a little bit easy and this is how much hair I lost. Okay, so we're back from customization. I'm gonna take this wig off my head. Like my head shape is flat at the top, so this wig about to be flat regardless. So once again, this is what it looks like, 13 by six. And all the details and all that will be in the description box. And y'all do get a code that will also be in the description. First things first, I need to put on the wig cap. So I forgot to mention this, but it did come with a regular wig cap. I'm gonna try and do a little different from today. We're gonna be using a the stocking cap. I mean, not a stocking cap, but the stocking is like the leg stocking, whatever. We're gonna use that today. It's just like more thinner. And I feel like this will look really good like if I melt it down. And if it don't look good i have stocking caps i didn't mention this already but this is not my first time having my hands on a wig i have installed a wig on my auntie before i have also attempted to install a wig on myself hear me out i know what the title says but that doesn't count like when i first got my wig i literally plucked 12,000 bald spots in it i cut through the adjustable straps I did not know what I was doing. Just bought the wig and I was like, it looks easy so I can do it myself. Watched one video and it blew up in my face. That doesn't really count. I was having a fun time with my best friend. This actually counts. I'm trying to properly install this for the first time. I'm going to get some free spray. Ooh, I don't even have a blow dryer.
So I'm gonna go around my hairline, but I'm not gonna actually touch my hairline. I'm just gonna do like little small dots. I'm gonna use this. I got some beauty spots for. I'm just about to peel it and I got these really sharp scissors from Amazon and they kind of curvy so you know you can get really close. I'm just going to tuck it in the back. This is Lace Tint. This brand right here, Ebon. Ebon. Um, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. And I also have um, LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Beautiful Bronze. You just want to rub off any dirt from like your forehead and stuff. Now I'm going to spray some lace tint on this wig. It's like one shade lighter. So of course we're going to do a middle part. Very basic, simple, cute. So we got this powder makeup. This is like really dark, but I'm gonna mix it with this one. So a lot of this and just a little bit of this. I think that matches a little bit better. Okay, yeah. This matches literally perfect. Okay, make sure it's even on both sides. I bought the hardest part for me is gonna be cutting off the air tabs. I got my hair tie and tie my hair out of the way. I don't want none of the hair to get caught up in no glue. Actually, I need to cut out my ear tabs first. This part is gonna be hard as hell. I don't even know what I just did just now. Oh, that doesn't look bad. That looks kind of good. I'm gonna cut three slits just to make it easier to, you know, place down. Put down the glue. I'm just gonna dot it. I'm gonna do about four to five layers because I want this wig to last me. And I'm only putting it like a very small amount in front of the wig cap because I really don't want to have to clean up any glue. If anything, I will put glue back. I'm about to place the lace where I want it to be. So it's some white right here. I think that's fine. It's not really gonna show much. Now I'm gonna cut the lace, fill in any spaces that need to be filled in. So I do already see some spaces like right here in the middle. And then I'm gonna tie it down. So I'm gonna use a razor so I can get a jagged look. Okay, this is probably gonna be boring, so I'll get back to y'all when I am done doing this part. This is what the lace looks like. Obviously, it's not melted, so it's not gonna look perfect. I'm about to get my elastic band. Actually, first, I'm gonna take out some edges. Now we're gonna get on to styling. I'm gonna get my straightener. While it's heating up, I'm just gonna detangle the hair. I'm gonna go with the part, make sure it's straight. And since this is a 13 by six, the parting space is pretty deep and I feel like that's really natural and pretty. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. So I got my wax stick. This is from She Is Bomb. I also got this in the beauty spot store a very, very, very long time ago. What I'm gonna do is part this halfway. And this is how I'm gonna get it like really flat. Going with the wax stick on the roots, not comb it down, and then we just gonna do this one in half and do the same thing. See how it looks way more flatter and just neat. We're getting ready to straighten the hair. I use the cheap Silk Infusion Little Serum, and I use any heat protectant, but this one just happens to be the cheap one. Yo, this is cute, like, just by itself. 
I'm gonna straighten it still. I'm gonna straighten it. I guess um that was actually a little bit too much. We're gonna use the chase method. So if you don't know what that is, do like that and then just get the, the flat iron and chase it behind it. And it's gonna be evenly distribute the heat and it'll make it more straight. I'm about to get a headache, so I'm about to take this out now. Then I got my mini curling iron. I really don't think that it matters which way you curl, so I really don't know. I ain't no pro. I'm finally done with my hair. The hardest part got to be the edges. Like, out of everything, the edges took forever and it was so hard. But this is the hair. It's super cute, super silky, super nice. I did straighten it, but I feel like I do like it better, like the natural body wave texture. Go to 10K. I feel like we're going to reach it faster than I think I am. Um, I just need to be consistent. It's 12 o'clock. It's super late and I need to go to bed. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I, um if you dislike the video dislike it if you like the video like it i would like to know and yeah i love all of y'all i'll see y'all in the next video bye